if Forte, do you know what team Forte's with now, or is he still a free agent? Forte has not made a decision on who he's going uh, to sign with, or uh, or I don't think the team has made an announcement yet. I've heard there have been talks with uh, with several different uh, teams. I think the Dolphins included. Um, I don't know. What team did I say that he was going to go to? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had discussions with a few teams. Um, I'll see if I can find some information. If you want, if you have any other music news that you want to go over, yeah, uh, well, Tyler, I'll, 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 tr I'll try to, I'll try to look at that now because I know he hasn't signed with anyone yet, but I know there have been talks. All right. Uh, you said he would go with the Dolphins. Who did I say he was going to go with? I'm trying to remember. Oh, we have a poll up. So, uh, I think you said, I think you said the Broncos, if I remember correctly. That I sounds about right. Uh, that that so sounds can, about right. We can, we can check the Twitter poll, too. Oh, and Tyler, I don't know if you have the Twitter poll up now, but we have a, a result uh, for one of the Twitter polls, you, if you want to give an update on that. Yeah, let me pull that up real quick. I'm... If you pull that up, yeah. Give me one second. <laughs> getting there, getting there. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah, and then also... Oh, did you hear about uh, what Lacey Sturm's fan group is called? The Sturm Troopers. <laughs> I'm like, that is I perfect. Like that. I love that. Alright, so which one? And, oh, I, I know which one it is. As soon as I get to it. Well, it's... It's the only one that we have up that has... It's not officially over yet. It's got 11 hours. Is it the Matt Forte one? Um, you, you, we can give an update on any that have any votes. Alright, well, I did say... I, you said it wrong. I said the Redskins, not the Oh, you Broncos. did say the Redskins. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I think you were going originally with the Broncos, and then you changed to the, you switched and said you were going with the Redskins. Yeah, Redskins. So, Dolphins have 100%. Um, there's only been one vote for, and it's 100% for the Miami Dolphins right now. For Ma right. where Ma Forte yeah, will go. Those, those are still available to vote in, right? They haven't closed yet. Yeah, 11 hours. And then the other, um, the other two have two days left to... Vote for the one has five votes for. Do you want to see gods of Egypt? Twenty percent say yes. Eighty percent say no way. And uh, then for do you want to see bat? Huh? I said that's disappointing. <laughs> and then for the uh, do you want to see Batman v Superman? There's been eleven votes. Uh, Eighty-two percent say yes, and eighteen percent say they don't care. So mm -hmm. more yes than no. Care. Let's put it that way. That uh, the report says Frank Gore is a potential long term answer to letting back, but neither is Forte, who turns 30 in December. The idea of Gore and Forte forming a one two punch, though appealing to the Colts, probably won't interest Forte. Instead of pursuing a running back, the Colts would be wise to beef up their offensive line to create more running room for Gore. That's an interesting report because it suggests that, that the Colts might keep Gore around for the next year or two, hmm. which I'm not confident about. I think that the Colts are going to be looking for a running back, um, probably, I, I think, to replace Gore. If not this year, maybe next year. But I think the Colts are going to be in desperate need here soon of, of a running back. Um, otherwise, I'm not seeing too many other reports. Okay. Um, I've got one here that says Forte, quote, lucky to command $4 million per year. So, interesting. So, if, if a team would be looking to sign Forte, $4 million a year to, for Forte would be a, a relatively high amount. Mm-hmm. Uh, Estimate, but according to Roto World, it looks like that he'll be lucky to come in. That interesting, yeah. All right, and then let me see if I can find some more music news real quick. I have, I don't think there is any besides TFK just releasing a ton of singles. Um, oh, yeah, on, yeah, on Wednesday, the, was I have the I have the uh, I got the news report quick. I'll just read this here. Uh, from Via Roto, after speaking to a few new folks, ESPN's Jeremy Fowler believes free agent Matt Forte will be lucky to command more than $4 million per year on um, the open NFL market. The life of a 30-year-old back, added Fowler, 
is a short one. On February 5th, Forte told NFL Network's Lindsey Rose that it ain't about the money. I'm trying to get a Super Bowl. Forte's market shouldn't become overly pricey, and it sounds like he's satisfied with that. Forte's Roto World's number two free agent running back behind Doug Martin, just ahead of Lamar Miller. So that's interesting. This is going to be a very deep pool of free agent running backs, Forte, Miller, and Doug Martin, all free agents this year. you got to wonder... I mean, we don't know if, if the Dolphins will put a will, uh, franchise Lamar Miller or stick a franchise tag. The Buccaneers will stick a franchise tag on Doug Martin because they might do that. But if if Martin's a free agent, he'll be a hot topic this offseason. Hmm. All right. Well, then. Um, yeah, I can't. I think I've about found all the mu- I already went over all the music news then. Then for music news, I got I got one final thing. If you want to discuss, sure, go ahead. Let's debate. Um, yeah. So this is this is just a this is a new story from Dallas. Randy Gregory, um, is a last year. Um, he's a defensive end from from Dallas. He's been suspended four games for violating the league's substance abuse policy. The NFL announced Friday. Gregory, who's 23 years old, will miss the first four games of the 2016 season. The failed tests occurred during 2015, not after. And an appeals process already has been completed. Hmm. So, listen, it's extremely disappointing how many young players are throwing away not only their personal life with this substance abuse, but part of their NFL career. This is a quarter of a season we're talking about here. I just think, you know, you see Johnny Manziel as well, too, and guys, it's like, these guys don't have the maturity level to be playing in the NFL, which is sad because a lot of these guys are extremely talented. Your thoughts? Yeah, I would have to agree. Um, is he the... Um, let me think real quick. Is he the guy that uh, got in trouble for some other stuff last year, too? I, I know last year it was... Uh... In the 2015 season, it was Greg Greg Hardy that had a lot of stuff surrounding him. That might be who you're thinking of. Um, I I, I was thinking uh, of the Cowboys guy. Yeah, great. Well, yeah, Greg Greg Hardy's on the Cowboys too. Um, okay. But yeah, Greg 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 Hardy also a defensive player, a def- defensive lineman has had um has also had some scandals, if you will, in terms of uh, not necessarily substance abuse, but um abuse period towards um I'm not sure who it was I think it was his girlfriend um. But yeah, it's 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 just not only with substance abuse, but players in general are throwing their lives and their careers away, and it's really disappointing and really saddening. However, the NFL has taken the correct course of action in this to suspend him for games. Mm-hmm. That's my thought. Yeah, yeah, that that seems right. Um. It's possible Gregory, according to this report, could lose 30, 30, uh, excuse me, 370000 guaranteed in his 2016 base salary as a result of the suspension. Wow. His four-year deal was worth $3.8 million, including $1.4 million guaranteed, and it's possible he could lose 370000 of that. So there's a decent amount of money here to be had that he's going to miss out on. Yeah. Sounds like it. All right. Well, I guess that's it then for today's show. I thought we were gonna be talking. Don't, talk- to, uh, Go ahead. don't forget to don't forget don't forget to uh, tweet the show. We we're talking about the polls. Twitter polls will still be open, I believe, today. And I think our Twitter handle at this point is uh, youth new at youth news radio. And like the page on Facebook. Join the Google Plus community. Real quick before we close, if you have any questions that you want us to answer in the next show, send them to us now. Uh, just send them to at youth news radio. Just send them to us via that. Uh, put them on the Facebook page, put them in emails to us, which emails will probably get checked once a week. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, if you have any questions for our next show, just send them to us and we'll answer them. And then I believe next time we're going to get Noah Altoff on the show, who is oh, one nice. of the band's be lead vocals. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited to do that. So we'll just have to do some tests to make sure. And I'm still getting the Skype thing to work on here, so... All right, well, that is it for today's show, then. Thanks for listening in. And we'll be closing out with Monster by Skillet. And we got time to play the entire song. That's it. Go ahead. Were you going to say something? I was just going to say, what other song would be great to close out with in Monster by Skillet? Mm, I can think of a few. 
but we're not going to get into that discussion. That'll be that's a, that's for another time. All right, here is Monster by Skillet. Enjoy. <laughs> I hate what I've become, the nightmare's just begun 